Libra, oh Libra, what's up Libra gang, what's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra between now and the 28th of February? <laughs> Are you guys in this transformative energy and just really allowing spirits to bestow that newness upon you? <laughs> Mocha gonna call you new new this time of the year. <laughs> hey boo hey, if this is your first time to my channel, hi, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, this is just a disclaimer. Look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can best assist you and resonate with you more without cussing. Because me, <laughs> I'm going to do that. All right, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra. To, look, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We love. We share. We grow. We enlighten. We evolve. Posi vibes only. This is simply a general reading. If you need a personal reading, that information <clears throat> can be found within the description box below. Just simply send an email to mochadelove at gmail.com and book your reading and we finna get it popping, okay? Um, again, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of Libra from today, February the 18th or mid-February into the 28th, okay? So let's get it popping. We're going to start with your intuitive messages. Okay, Libra intuitively while meditating on your energy, um, y'all asses be putting me to work. I think y'all should really know this glare sucks, but oh my god, if you ain't never thought that y'all put smoke to work, y'all put smoke to work. Okay, but it's because I love you that I'm never gonna let you down. I ain't missing a beat with my videos. All right, so we gonna rock. All right, so for Libra, what I got for you all for the middle of February into the 28th was spiritual protection, momentum, prosperity, understanding, forgiving the past, take a chance, compromises, divine union, great opportunities, communication, loving you, okay? So I feel like even with the loving you, that's the transformative energy that I'm feeling. When I said I'm going to call you new, new, I feel the Libra is just really moving in a whole new way. I feel that, yes, you are, you know, able to look at things from a different perspective, but at the same time, without leaving yourself and how you feel about the things that matters most to you out of the equation. You know, no more of that self-sacrificial shit for people who are unworthy. Okay, so let's rock. We're going to start with your... um angel oracle message okay what you all got was clairvoyance this comes from archangel raziel he says i'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can i'm sorry so that you can clearly see heavenly love okay again that goes to you know not allowing people who are not worth you know, the effort to really be in your energy draining that taken away from it if they can't add to it, okay? So the overall energy around your reading for this mid-half of February is the magician, right? So, again, it's Libra moving forward confidently, knowing that you have everything in which you need. You know how to love. You know how to get money, baby. You know how to communicate. And even with dealing with the karmic and releasing the karmic and walking away from situations that really didn't best serve you, it's really looking at it only looking at the positive aspect of what you learn from it and just keeping it trucking, baby, and knowing that if you rebuilt that, you're damn empress. If you, if you, re, if you built that foundation, what did you learn? What wisdom was gained in order for you to just move forward and build another? You know, don't think about the negative aspects of things. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras? In love, life, finances, spirit, for the half, this mid half of February, and now to the 28th. Okay. For some of you all, this could be transformation in a family dynamic, okay? For some of you all, you could have, um, it could be new additions to the family. You guys could actually be reconstructing how things go, fast-moving communication, fast-paced communication, someone coming in and wanting to, um, wanting to talk, Libra. And I feel like this person is coming in wanting to move quickly and offer you new love, 
Okay, this could definitely be some type of renewal to a family to a family dynamic, possibly with another air sign. Okay, and for some of you all, this is going to require some type of compromises. You know, some it's going to be fast moving, so it's going to require things to change and things in the dynamic to shift. However, I do feel it's more positive. It's more for the better. Uh, for some of you all, this could involve a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And for some of you all, it is some type of understanding, some type of uh, duality, working together, partnering uh, with possibly a mother or father of your children, co-parenting in a healthy way, possibly because you're moving on to new love, okay? After uh, a time of being single, some of y'all could be dealing with Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Some of you all... Some of you all could literally just be making agreements around the family dynamic. Yeah, independence. Telling someone that you don't want to be in a commitment, that you no longer want to be in some type of a uh, in the top in some type of family dynamic. This could possibly have to do with the uh, Capricorn towards Virgo. Okay, I feel like this person is going to be resisting this change during this time because they feel that they can offer you that stability. They don't they don't see why you're unhappy. However, I do see for someone else you've been manifesting new love. For some of you all, um, you're releasing this person or you're moving away from the situation due to the fact that there's a drinking problem. I feel like this person um, is going to be trying to work on the matter. I feel the energy of push and pull, like someone wants to release a situation and someone truly wants to keep working on it, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with the fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, who has been offering you crumbs. You're no longer accepting that, or they've been kind of resisting a union. I feel that someone here feels a reunion, I mean, feels that a union, and I, and I said reunion for a reason, so it could be that someone is going to come back. And I feel like for some of you all, you've been manifesting this person's return in the midst of you being single. However, they're still coming back offering crumbs. You are going to get that communication, Okay. For some of you, it is safe to move forward, especially if it has to do with you have a family with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel if you have a family, this is a family dynamic with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel the energy can be transformed, but I do feel a sense of someone really moving in another direction towards new love that could have to do with the water sign and some type of uh, blended family dynamic. Um, maybe you or your love interest definitely uh, both of you all have kids but I do see love coming your way for those of you who are single there will be this new love I feel like some of y'all are actually uniting with your twin flame after some sort of resistance okay or some type of after someone making someone feel abandoned some of you all are waiting on a fire sign who's been resisting this uh, resisting offering you a solid commitment this person makes you feel as if you're not enough Okay, I feel as if we're moving away from that during this mid month of February, and this could have to do with the past life, some type, some of uh, some form of past life karma, some type of past life connection, which is why the intensity of it is so strong. I feel like you want you or this other person wants to put in work, wants to move forward victoriously towards newness. For some of you all, this is happening uh, with the reunion or with reuniting with someone who. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant, which is why you could have had a breakup, a little time being single, and you guys are reconnecting during this time. This person is going to come back and tell you the truth. However, I do feel some of you all are dealing with someone who has accountability issues and who's a fast talker. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius that's a very charming person. I feel like you're standing your ground during this mid half. You're letting this person know if you want to have this newness, if you want to come in and you know, really have this newness with me, you're going to have to really put in some work. Some of you guys are going to be contacting someone or receiving communication from possibly an Aries, Libra, Cancer, um, Capricorn from the past who really wants to move forward with you, fix things, come back and apologize. This person could have um, ghosted you, I'm saying. Some of you all could be having dreams about this. And there's a focus on you all solar plexus during this time, as well as the crown chakra. Uh, very, we'll be very gentle with yourself during this mid-half of February. Some of you all who've been patiently waiting for a new job, I do see within that third week of February, well, within this, this week going into this week here, you will be possibly hearing from the job that you've been waiting to hear on, or that you've been waiting to hear from. Closer to the end of the week, I would say Wednesday going into going into uh Saturday even. 
But for those of you who are dealing with the sign of Leo, especially if you have children with this person, this person is wanting to come in um, and work on the foundation, actually offer you a secure offer, uh, offer you something solid, because I feel like for some of you all, this person had kind of beaten in your head or made you feel as if in the past that you couldn't do it by yourself, so you needed that, you needed that time to be single and be independent, to not only show that person but ultimately really show yourself that you could do that you know and i do see there's there, there's been this ego death in other words some of y'all trained your dog honey okay but i do see we're moving out of this energy of uh feeling as if you know i'm not enough or feeling as if this is not going to go this way and really trying to control the situation we're no longer resisting it some of you guys are in this transformative energy of i surrender I'm no longer trying to, trying to control um, how things really fall in line with my past. For those of you who are dealing with earth signs, Capricorn towards Virgo, I feel as if there's a conversation that needs to be had because I feel like the issue and the resistance of things moving forward going that's going on in this dynamic, you guys are going to be having a conversation. Either you or this person is going to be coming to terms with the fact that someone is really, really, really too focused on the damn material side of things that they're really kind of not putting that they're not present and when it comes to the family dynamic and for some of you all this makes you feel sad it makes you feel as if you have to really be you know a single parent in some form of a commitment and this could be making you want to separate wanting to you know really kind of go your own separate way and i feel like some of you all have been holding that for quite some time for those of you dealing with the element of fire, I definitely feel like you're gonna. This person is going to be communicating. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you are going to be communicating with that person that you do want to move forward, as well as um, have something secure, have something solid. However, this person needs to work on their consistency as well as their their finicky behavior because I feel like this person is emotionally immature, and that is going to be the communication that's going to be had this mid half of February, you know, I really need you to come on with it and I need you to grow the fuck up, make a decision. One minute you want to be in a commitment, the next minute you acting as if you are here single. What the fuck you gonna do? You gonna get right or get left. What we doing? All right. For those of you dealing with air signs, Gemini Libra Aquarius, I feel as if you really, really, really love this person. But I feel as if the communication could be a bit off. Like it's a bit like you're dealing with someone who you feel talks at talks at you or talks to you and may, makes you feel as if you're below them. And you really need to speak up for yourself because for some of you all, Spirit is saying it's safe to move forward. However, there needs to be a compromise, especially when it comes to communication. Those of you who are dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I definitely feel the energy of just like fire, some type of um, family dynamic, okay, where someone doesn't really know if they want to be in a partnership or if they want to be single. I do feel like there's definitely a lot of love here. This could even be some type of twin flame partnership. Um. For some of y'all, this could even be with a Gemini, a Virgo, Leo, Taurus is here, Capricorn here, Sagittarius is here, Aries is here. Yeah, a little bit of everybody here. But I definitely see the outcome being a stable offer moving forward after someone actually speaking and standing within their truth and standing in what matters the most to them and some of you are you were you're going to be the catalyst to and, and you actually choosing yourself choosing self-worth and choosing not to allow someone to speak to you to treat you as an option to you know really make you feel as if they're not present in their relationship you moving forward is the catalyst to this person's awakening and knowing how to conduct healthy relationships because i definitely feel like some of y'all also dealing with someone who has strong um father issues and maybe they their father could have or they feel like maybe their father could have chosen money over them or maybe they feel as if um the focus should be on being the breadwinner but in, in order to be the breadwinner maybe they feel like the actual presence and being there with your family has to be compromised but there definitely needs to be some form of duality and i do see that moving forward but it's going to be after someone really stands up for themselves and speaks that some of you guys are on the brink for those of you who've been single i do see possibility of a new beginning possibly with an aries taurus um sag gemini aquarian for some of you all um virgo but it's going to be after 
you feel secure in your own finances as well as in your own um in your own health and wellness for some of you all. Some of y'all really, really, really need to um shift your diet and eat more green leafy foods. That's coming up strongly. This could be um spirit is saying a Libra rising or a Libra moon that I'm speaking to. But I definitely see movement forward. Again, a lot of transformative energy, newness. But it's going to be after firm, solid communication. Healthy foundations being set. Boundaries being set. Movement forward for some of you all. Which is going to force another motherfucker to move, by the way. But I see victory, Libra. Victory. All right. So this is what I have for you all um, between now and the 28th of February. If you need a personal reading, definitely hit me up. Um, that information can be found within the description. I send you all much love, much light, much abundance, y'all. And mwah, namaste, babies.